Good morning. Today's lesson is chapter 11, lesson 12, the last one in our book. Our essential question today is how can you find the volume of a rectangular prism that are combined? Let's unlock the problem. The shapes at the right is a composite figure. It is made up of two rectangular prisms that are combined. How can you find the volume of the figure? So you can see right here is one rectangular prism and there's another rectangular prism. So one way is to use addition. You can break apart the solid figure into two rectangular prisms. So you can see they drew a line here, so they made this be one rectangular prism and this be another rectangular prism. So let's find the length and width and height of each prism. So we took this green one and we put it down here. So we know that it's two inches this way, okay? And we know because of this bottom here saying four inches that it's four inches this way. What we don't know so we need to think of the total of both prisms is six inches. So from here to here, it's six inches. But if from here to here, it's four inches, then that means this is four, and the remainder of this is what's going to get me to six. So six minus two is four. So then that means that this part right here is going to be four inches. Alright, so let's find the volume of each prism. So remember, volume is length times width times height. So, if I'm looking at the volume of this one, I have 2 times 4 times 4. So I'm going to say 2 times 4 times 4. 2 times 4 is 8, and 8 times 4 is 32. So the answer is 32 inches cubed. Now looking at this one, we already have all the dimensions, 10, 4, and 2, right? So we have 10 times 4 times 2. Well, 10 times 4 is 40, and 40 times 2 is 80. So this is 80 inches cubed. So now I have the volume of this one at 32, and the volume of this one at 80, right? Inches square cubed. So now I have 32 plus the 80, and that gives me 80, and I put my 32 right here, and I get 0 and 2 is 2, and 8 and 3 is 11, so I'm going to get 112 inches cubed, and that's going to be my answer, 112 inches cubed. Another way, you can use subtraction. So you can subtract the volume of a prism formed in the empty spaces from the greatest possible volume to find the volume of a composite figure. So instead of cutting it in half and finding the volume on this side and this one, you could actually find the volume of the entire thing and then find the volume of the missing space and subtract it. So let's find the greatest possible volume. Well, the greatest possible volume is going to be 6 times 10 times 4, right? 10, 6, and 4. Those are my greatest dimensions. So let's put those in. So my length is, is 10, there we go, sorry, my length is 10, and my width is 4, okay, and then my height is 6. So my volume is 10 times 4, which equals 40, right, and then times 6, which is 40, if I do it over here, 40 times 6, 0 and 6 is 0. 6 and 4 is 24, so my answer is going to be 240 cubic inches. So that's what it would be if the entire thing was filled in. Now, we're going to find the missing area here, um, and you can do that. And you see right here they put 8 inches, because if you look, the entire bottom was 10, and this little tiny bit was 2. And if I take the 2 and I subtract the 10, then what's left over is 8. So this little part is 8. And then to find this missing part, I know if this whole thing is 6 and this bottom part is 2, then this missing part must be 4. Okay, so the length right here is 8. Let me get my pen. The length is 8. And then my width, we said, was 4. And my height was 4. So, if, and they already did it down here. 8 times 4 times 4 times 4. So 8 times 4 is 32. Oops. Oh, lost my pen there. Okay, so 8 times 4 is 32. Okay, so I did those two. And then 32 times 4, we have 4 times 2 is 8. 
and 4 times 3 is 12, so my answer is 128 cubic inches. So now I'm going to subtract the 2. So now I have 240 minus the 128, which will give me this space right here. Okay, so we've got, let's go over here, 240 minus 128. I can't take 8 from 0, so I make this become, this will be a 10. I have to borrow. That's going to end up being a 3. So 10 from 8 is 2, 3 from 2 is 1, and 2 from 1 is 1. So my answer is going to be 112 cubic square feet. So 112 cubic square feet. All right, so you can see they've already, we've got this irregular shape. They've already started cutting it for us. See how they've cut it for us and they've made it into three different shapes? So let's do this shape first, okay? So we know that it is four feet, right, by three feet. And then if you look, depth-wise, okay, it's five feet, okay? So four times three is 12, and 12 times five, you can do 12 times five, that's 10, that's 60, okay? So now let's do this. All right, let's do this one right here. Whoops. Let's do this next one right here. Okay, so we have two feet in the height there. And then we have five feet this way. And then right here, this little part right here, that, well, this whole thing is 12, right? If you take three feet off of that one and five feet off of that one, that's eight. So 12 minus eight, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 is four. So this part right here is four feet, okay? So two times five is 10 and 10 times four is 40. All right, now let's do the center one. I'm gonna change colors. I don't know if that's gonna help or not. So we know that this part right here is five feet. Okay, and then they're showing us the height right here. If you look right here, they're showing us the height of this one as 8 feet. So let's write the 8. So we've got 5 feet, 8 feet, and then we have another 5 feet. So 5 times 8 is 40. So 40. And then times the 5 here. So we have 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 4 is 20. So we're going to get 200. So now we're going to add the volume of this one, the volume of this one, and the volume of this one. So that means we're going to add the 60 plus the 40 plus the 200. 60 plus 40 is 100 plus 200 is 300. So the answer is 300 cubic feet. Another way to write that is 300 feet cubed. Okay, so you could do either method here. Personally, I like the one where you just add both parts together. So I like where I happen to know that this bottom is 8, that's 4, and that's 2. So I like to find out what the volume of this bottom one is, and then I like to try and find out the volume of the top one, and then I put them together. So this bottom one's really easy because they've already done it. 8, 4, and 2. There's nothing to think about. So 4 times 2 is 8, and 8, so it's going to be like this. I've got 8, whoops, 4 times 2 is 8, right? And then I have 8 times 8, which is 64. So I know that this one right here is 64 inches cubed. Now I just need to find out what this is here. Well, if this entire height is 5 inches, but this height over here is 2 inches, then this part that's left is going to be 3 inches because 5, and I take away this 2, I know this part right here and above is 3 inches, right? So there's my 3 inches. I know this is 4 inches deep because it's showing me 4 inches deep. So the volume on this one is 3 times 4 times 2. So 3 times 4 is 12, and 12 times 2 is 24. So let me erase this really fast so it's not so messy. So this one is 64, and this one is 24. So if I add those together, 64 plus 24 is, well, 4 plus 4 is 8, right? And 6 plus 2 is 8. So the answer is 88 inches cubed. All right, the last one, be really easy to just kind of slice it about right there, right? So this side's really easy because they show you this one's 6 centimeters. It's tall as 1 centimeter, and then it's as wide as 7 centimeters. So this one is going to be 7 times 1, which is 7, 
and then times the 6, right, okay, which is 42. So this big one is 42 centimeters cubed. Now this is the hard part. We know this is 3. We know this is 2. Or I'm sorry, we know this top part is 1. And then they're showing us that this part right here is 2. So now I have 3 times the 1 of the height and the 2 centimeters. So 3 times 1 is 3, and 3 times 2 is 6. So this little one is 6 centimeters. So if I take the 42 and the 6, 42 and the 6, and add them together, I get 48. So the volume is 48 centimeters cubed. Okay, the rest on your own is on your own. You can also work with a partner or meet me on the carpet. Good luck.